how's it going y'all welcome to part one of dragon age inquisition we're continuing on with the dragon age series playthroughs if you've uh, stuck with me either through here on youtube or on twitch we went through origins with the female mage dynamagic continuing on to dragon age 2 with vain hawk the male warrior we're looking to change things up with each entry and we're definitely changing things up here with inquisition as as you can see Everything's different. I am purely doing this playthrough, recording it for YouTube. This is the first time, if you've been following me either here on YouTube or on Twitch, the first time I've been doing a full playthrough just recorded for YouTube. So it's going to be a little different, but I'm definitely excited. And as we move closer on to the release of Dragon Age, the Veil Guard, I'm excited for the Veil Guard. Let me know how excited y'all are in the comments don't be shy and if you want to continue following me along this playthrough feel free to subscribe it's greatly appreciated and without further ado let's just get into it now for context again if you follow me along origins and dragon age 2 you know this i have played inquisition before once before it was a while ago so i don't remember a lot there will probably be parts in here that will come back to me and be like oh yeah i remember this part blah blah, blah. but most of the most part i don't remember a lot so i'm excited to see how this all plays out and especially with all the decisions based uh around the first two games i did go into the dragon age keep and work all that out and i think i got every single decision correct there might be a couple in there that i might have messed up on especially when it comes to the dlcs i did not play any of the dlcs except for the ones that might have come with the games on game pass like for example like in origins with shale stuff like that so i'm very excited to see how those decisions affect this playthrough so let's get in here okay here we go downloading character data from does it tell me i wonder if it tells me that's the, that's the one thing i'm curious about is if it tells me because it just said importing from the dragon age keep and i have i have the keep up on another screen um, just to see if we can verify. One thing I've been wanting to do with the series is differentiate the character, the main characters in terms of class, race type of thing. Now I did do human for both, obviously with Origins I chose human and, and in Dragon Age 2 you don't have a choice. So we are not going human. I'm leaning, usually when it comes to games with different like fantasy type games, I usually lean towards the elf. However, I think I'm gonna check out the dwarf. So here it says, dwarves are short stocky, most spend their entire lives underground. Those exiled to the service are often merchants or smugglers because dwarves have no connection to the Fade. They cannot be mages, but receive a 25% 5% bonus to magic defense. Again, in terms of like differentiating the main characters, in the first game we played a female, second we were male. So I'm going to go back to a female this time. So we're gonna go female dwarf. And because we were a warrior last game, we're going rogue. And I'm thinking I'm going to go dual wield again. I usually go long range. Usually my top picks for any kind of classes like either mage or archer. But I'm going against the grain here and I'm going to pick dual wield. So here, rogues are fighters who rely on speed and agility rather than heavy armor using skill in an advantageous position on the battlefield to deal incredible damage. They may get up close and personal with daggers or strike from a distance with arrows. So we're gonna select rogue, dual wield. Difficulty, we're just gonna stick it with normal. Again, if you've been following along with the series, does these games do get a little bit challenging, but I'm gonna stick to normal. We're not going easy. I'm going to stick to normal. Okay. The doors of Thetis are known for their once fast underground empire. Gills merchants. Yep. Mm -hmm. Where is I esteemed by the other races of Thetis? Not you. Uh, a cast off surfacer. Unwelcome among the dwarves or most humans. 
you have scraped by as part of a criminal fraternity known as the Carta. Oh, cool. Smuggling magical or known as Lyrium. As part of the ruthless Kadash crime family, I apologize if I pronounced that incorrectly, you spent your life on the streets of various free marcher city states until you were sent to the Chantry Conclave as a spy and everything changed. Interesting. Do you want to import a custom world state from the Dragon Age Keep? Yes, here we go. Import successful. And this is where we make sure the date, time, everything is correct. And that is today's date. I literally just did this today. That is correct. So we're going to accept it. So for the most part, it should be in line with what we did in Origins and Dragon Age 2. So let's, let's get at it. Let's do it. All right, now we customize. I was about to say, like, we have, do we pick a name? Uh, but then again, we haven't even customized the character yet. I may fast forward this, I don't know. Of course, you're seeing the final product. So whatever I chose when I edit is what you're gonna see. So let's, let's get at it. Okay, so there we have it. Here is our female dwarf rogue. Everything you've heard, completely true. We're gonna accept the changes. Now, we we are at the name part. We gotta name our character. Now, I've been thinking about this. I suck at coming up with names it's the honestly is the part I hate the most with naming a character because I spend so much time trying to think up a name. So I just decided, so our female mage from Dragon Age Origins, Dynamagic, which if you've been following me on Twitch and stuff, Dynamagic is a name I use quite a bit in terms of female characters. So I'm going to use that name, except I'm going to reverse it. So that makes it a nade, a nade, a nade. And I'm gonna go one step further and put magic backwards. Uh, a nade kigum. Sigum? We'll say sigum. A nade, a nade sigum? A nade sigum? You know when you say something, you're like, wait, am I saying something wrong? A nade sigum. I don't know. That's what we're going with. Let's do it. Makes me think of our veil guard doing vain backwards. Naive. Naive? Naive? Got naive naive? I don't know. We'll get there when we get there. Oh, 
Oh, you better, you better run, girl. Well, well, well. Tell me why we shouldn't kill you now. The Conclave is destroyed. Everyone who attended is dead. Except for you. Huh. You left sick and aid to select the response on the dialogue wheel. I'm gonna remain silent. Explain this. I can't. What do you mean you can't? I don't know what that is or how it got there. You're lying. We need her, Cassandra. Some dialogues give you the opportunity to respond emotionally in situations when these opportunities appear. Special icons will highlight the emotion tied to the response. I'm trying to think of how I want to have this character go. In all games, I tend to go with the aggressive approach, but I try to do that differently with, with Hawk. I think I might want to do that differently with a nade. I can't believe it. All those people. Dead. Do you remember what happened? How this began? I remember running. Things were chasing me, and then... A woman. A woman? She reached out a to me. A woman? But then... <sighs> Go to the forward camp, Liliana. I will take her to the rift. Liliana. Liliana. What did happen? It... Will be easier to show you. And to think in Origins I wanted to kill Liliana, but the opportunity never came. rift into the world of demons that grows larger with each passing hour. It's not the only such rift, just the largest. All were caused by the explosion at the Conclave. An explosion can do that? This one did. Unless we act, the breach may grow until it swallows the world. Each That's time my... the breach expands, your mark spreads, and it is killing you. It may be the key to stopping this, but there isn't much time. That's mighty sus. You say it may be the key. To doing what? Closing the breach. Whether that's possible is something we shall discover shortly. It is our only chance, however. And yours. Don't think I'm guilty, huh? You still think I did this? To myself? Not intentionally. Something clearly went wrong. And if I'm not responsible? Someone is. And you are our only suspect. You wish to prove your innocence? This is the only way. I'm like, do I want to be... Do I want to be nice? Do I want to be selfish? 
I'm gonna do this. I understand. Then I'll do what I can. Whatever it takes. They have decided your guilt. They need it. The people of Haven mourn our most holy, divine Justinia, head of the Chantry. The Conclave was hers. It was a chance for peace between mages and Templars. She brought their leaders together. Now they are dead. We lash out like the sky, but we must think beyond ourselves. But it's not my fault. Until the breach is sealed. There will be a trial. I can promise no more. Come. It is not far. Where are you taking me? Your mark must be tested on something smaller than the breach. Yeah, let's go. The maker has revealed to me, as there is but one God. Open the gate. We are heading into the valley. Access the quest map from the hero menu. That's where we got. That's where we got to go. Let's go. are coming faster now the larger the breach grows the more rifts appear the more demons oh, we face it's like a scan. did i survive the blast they said you stepped out of a rift then fell unconscious they say a woman was in the rift behind you oh The fight. Stay behind me. Oh, it's go time. You need to trust me. If you're going to lead me through a demon infested valley, you'll have to trust me. Give me one reason to trust you. Because my life is on the line. <sighs> you're right. I cannot protect you. And I cannot expect you to be defenseless. I should remember you agreed to come willingly. Yep. These potions. Maker knows what we will face. Where are all your soldiers? At the forward camp for fighting. We are on our own for now. I keep forgetting to turn um, subtitles on, so let's do that. Abilities consume mana and stamina for, for, for powerful combat effects. Most abilities require time to pass before reuse. There! Watch okay. out! If we flank them, we may gain the advantage. No, oh, what the hell? Just 
Damn. Surprise. Can't see me. We jump down. Oh, can we head down? Sweet. Hello. You do. I did nothing. The credit is yours. Oh, a convenient. You all know who this is. So I can help. At least this is good for something. Whatever magic opened the breach in the sky also placed that mark upon your hand. I theorized the mark might be able to close the rifts that have opened in the breach's wake, and it seems I was correct. Meaning it could also close the breach itself. Possibly. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. Good to know. Here I thought we'd be ass deep in demons forever. Barak Tethras, rogue, storyteller, and occasionally unwelcome tag along. <laughs> You're with the Chantry? Are you with the Chantry or. <laughs> Was that a serious question? Technically, I'm a prisoner. Just like you. I brought you here to tell your story to the Divine. Clearly, that is no longer necessary. Yet, here I am. Lucky for you, considering current events. Nice crossbow. That's a nice crossbow you have there. Ah, isn't she? Bianca and I have been through a lot together. You named your crossbow Bianca? Of course. And she'll be great company in the valley. Absolutely not. Your help is appreciated, Varric, but... Have you been in the valley lately, Seeker? Your soldiers aren't in control anymore. You need me. Ugh. My name is Solus, if there are to be introductions. I am pleased to see you still live. He means I kept that mark from killing you while you slept. You know about the mark? You seem to know a great deal about it all. Solus is an apostate, well-versed in such matters. 
technically all mages are now apostates, Cassandra. My travels have allowed me to learn much of the Fade, far beyond the experience of any circle mage. I came to offer whatever help I can give with the Breach. If it is not closed, we are all doomed regardless of origin. Mm -hmm. And when this is over? And what will you do once this is over? One hopes those in power will remember who helped and who did not. Cassandra, you should know. The magic involved here is unlike any I have seen. Your prisoner is no mage. Indeed, I find it difficult to imagine any mage having such power. Understood. We must get to the forward camp quickly. Well... Bianca's excited. This way, down the bank. The road ahead is blocked. We must move quickly. It's funny because I originally, like I said before, played this game, played Inquisition before, but Dragon Age Origins and, and Dragon Age 2 from this series playthrough I'm doing essentially is the first time I played those games, so much better appreciation for Varric this time around. Um, and it's kind of it's kind of cool to see now where this game really lies up lies in terms of like the timeline. So it seems like. If I'm not mistaken, it seems like this game takes place like right after two or not long after two. Like it seems like Varric is still like prisoner in terms of like when he was talking to Cassandra about the events of Dragon Age 2. It seems like this place this takes place like right after that or not long after after those conversations, which is really cool. Now, seeker. Enter tactical camera mode, which helps you better evaluate nearby enemies and plan your strategy. Okay. While in tactical camera, use the left stick to scan the battlefield. Use the right stick to cycle through targets. Switch control between your party members and press A to issue orders to move to a specific spot or attack a specific enemy. Hold to advance time. Oh. Yeah, that's different. And I can, okay, up and down on the D-pad. Okay. I'm attack her. What does she got? She's a challenge, okay. I'm gonna attack this guy, okay. Let's get out of tactical mode for now. Feels like tactical mode would be very good for like pausing battles, kind of like reevaluating what everyone's doing and readjusting. Okay, where'd he go? Did he just a We didn't kill that kill that guy, did we? Come here. You're one where her Bronto hide. Crafting materials, nice. Gold. Over a bracelet. Looks like it might just be some some junk that we, we can sell. Is this a trap we can step in? No, it's for sure. In here. Okay, let's go. Let's continue on. Are you innocent? I don't remember what happened. That'll get you every time. Should have spun a story. That's what you would have done. It's more believable and less prone to result in premature execution. Hmm. I'm noticing now the subtitles aren't showing for those for those conversations. So I guess that's what ambient 
not me, so we're going to do that. I want the subtitles to show up for those conversations as well. So I, I really like those the conversations between the different companions as we're going along through the game. I got this guy. Nice. I hope Liliana made it through all this. She's resourceful, Seeger. We will see for ourselves at the forward camp. We're almost there. Liliana. Oh, man. Character has leveled up. This increases your health and stats automatically and awards you one ability point to use. Press the menu button to open the hero menu and select character record to see the ability screen. Character record. Soul daggers, archery, sabotage, subterfuge. Each ability tree contains active abilities, upgrades, and passive abilities. Active abilities have diamond shaped icons. They can be mapped to your hot bar and then used in combat. Upgrades are attached to an ability and make it stronger. Passive abilities have circular icons and are permanent boost to your character that are always active. Use the left stick to navigate the trees and inspect an abilities detail. When you have ability points available, press A to le learn a highlighted ability or upgrade. You only learn abilities connected to the root of the ability tree or connected to an ability you've already learned. Use the left stick to select an abilities in the ability tree. Press A to learn the highlighted ability. Press B to go back and browse other ability trees. Okay, let's go to uh, double daggers check that out you leap through shadows to attack your foe with deadly strikes at them from behind requires dagger this sounds interesting i'm gonna do this active abilities are automatically assigned to an empty hotkey if one is available after learning at any time you can select a learned ability and press a to map it to a hockey of your choice select the tactics tab from the ability screen in the character record to access a complete list of your learned active abilities Rift is gone. nice open the gate right away lady cassandra let's go for the moment well done Whatever that thing on your hand is, it's useful. Lies replenished. Morning Star. Restriction warrior only. Ah, here they come. You made it. Chancellor Roderick, this is... I know who she is. As Grand Chancellor of the Chantry, I hereby order you to take this criminal to Valroyo to face execution. Order me? You, you do. You are a glorified clerk, a bureaucrat. And you are a thug, but a thug who supposedly serves the Chantry. We serve the most holy, Chancellor. As you well know. Justinia is dead! We must elect a replacement and obey her orders on the matter. What about the breach? Isn't closing the breach the more pressing issue? You brought this on us in the first place! Call a retreat, Seeker. Our position here is hopeless. We can stop this before it's too late. How? You won't survive long enough to reach the temple, even with all your soldiers. We must get to the temple. It's the quickest route. But not the safest. Our forces can charge as a distraction while we go through the mountains. We lost contact with an entire squad on that path. It's too risky. Listen to me. Abandon this now, before more lives are lost.
How do you think we should proceed? You're asking for my opinion? Now you're asking me what I think. You have the mark. And you are the one we must keep alive. Since we cannot agree on our own. Let's let's take the mountain path. Use the mountain path. Work together. You all know what's at stake. Yeah. Liliana, bring everyone left in the valley. Everyone. On your head be the consequences, Seeker. To the mountains. Let's go. Come on, Solus. mining complex. These mountains are full of such paths. And your missing soldiers are in there somewhere? Along with whatever has detained them. We shall see soon enough. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That's a sick move. a creature research item bring it to a creature research specialist to learn more about this type of creature okay get that gold Stiletto. Oh. Cool. Okay. Inventory. Weapons. And so. Does that do anything? Probably not, right? So you don't really uh, switch characters. Oh. That's better for you, right? That's better for you. Let's go. This scanning thing is really coming in handy. Oh, at least it's not like Harry Potter. Incoming. Sure, cross class combo with character you control in single player mode. Oh. Item. 
Come on, y'all. Guess we found the soldiers. That cannot be all of them. So the others could be holed up ahead. Our priority must be the breach. Unless we seal it soon, no one is safe. That's a task for the other dwarf in our party. Oh, you're talking about me? Gonna attempt to here it comes. Sealed as before. You are becoming quite proficient at this. Let's hope it works on the big one. Thank the Maker you finally Let's arrived, hold. Lady Cassandra. I don't think we could have held out much longer. Thank our prisoner, Lieutenant. She insisted we come this way. The prisoner? Then you... It was worth the risk. It was worth saving you, if we could. Then you have my sincere gratitude. The way into the valley behind us is clear for the moment. Go, while you still can. At once. Quickly, let's move! The path ahead appears to be clear of demons as well. Let's hurry before that changes. Down the ladder. That's the way to the temple. Let's go. Oops. Fade don't just accidentally happen, right? If enough magic is brought to bear, it is possible. But there are easier ways to make things explode. That is true. We will consider how this happened once the immediate danger is past. Yeah, that's smart. Let's let's focus on the big hole in the sky, eh? The temple of sacred ashes. That is where you walked out of the Fade, and our soldiers found you. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows who she was. Yes, it is. You're here. Thank the Maker. Liliana, have your men take up positions around the temple. Let's do this. This is your chance to end this. Are you ready? Just tell you what to do. I'm assuming you have a plan to get me up there? No. This rift was the first, and it is the key. Seal it, and perhaps we seal the breach. Then let's find a way down, and be careful. Now is the hour of our victory. Bring forth the sacrifice. What are we hearing? At a guess, the person who created the breach. Know 
this stuff is red lyrium seeker. Oh, no. I see it, Beric. But what's it doing here? Magic could have drawn on lyrium beneath the temple, corrupted it. <sighs> it's evil. Whatever you do, don't touch it. Yeah. Beric knows. Divine Justinia's voice. Cut it down. called out to you, but... What's going on here? Run where you can! Run them! We have an intruder. Uh-oh. Play the dwarf. there who attacked and the divine is she was this vision true what are we seeing i don't remember echoes of what happened here the fate bleeds into this place this rift is not sealed but it is closed albeit temporarily i believe that with the mark the rift can be opened and then sealed properly and safely however opening the rift will likely attract attention from the other side that means demons. Stand ready. Okay, let's do this. The demons. It's a big boy. No. You can't see me. Fade rips to damage demons. Press. Oh. Hold on. There we go. The demon is vulnerable. Now. Get him. Oh crap. 
on. Cover me. Get him. Those are traps. It's good to know. Here we go. That's the last of that. Nobody died now. Got it. Now, seal the rift. Here we go. My God, I can't see it. Where is it? I didn't know you were awake. I swear. It's all right. Don't worry about it. I only... I beg your forgiveness and your blessing. I am but a humble servant. You are back in Haven, my lady. They say you saved us. The breach stopped growing, mm -hmm. just like the mark on your hand. It's all anyone has talked about for the last three days. And we're safe. Oh, then the danger is over. The breach is still in the sky, but that's what they say. I'm certain Lady Cassandra would want to know you've wakened. She said, at once. And where is she? In the Chantry, with the Lord Chancellor. At once, she said. At once. Well, that's going to do it for part one of Dragon Age Inquisition, the prologue complete. We'll go see what Cassandra's got to say in part two.